Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong. I hope you're all doing well in the present lockdown situation. At the time of this vlog, we were on national lockdown. Now, I'm out with my lass. She's over there. She might give us a wave. She's over there in the distance, in the fog. It's a foggy day today, a bit spooky here in the woods. Now, in this vlog, we are going to drop my wildlife camera in a new location and uh, we're going to also pick it up on a different day i'm sure you follow that so you're going to get the drop of the camera and the results all in one vlog so stick with me it should be a good little walk a nice little foggy walk today So I've been looking around for quite a while. It's still nice and foggy. I say nice and foggy. It's making it really atmospheric here in Dean Wood. This is Dean Wood, very local to me. And it's one of our ancient woodlands. So having a good explore around here. I haven't actually been this far into Dean Wood before. And uh, I'm thinking just over here is a great place for my camera. I'm gonna go and have a look. There's a few holes. and I think they're either badger holes or fox holes in the uh, bank in here we will find out what they are maybe a horse will come out of there <laughs> i'm gonna have a look over there and uh, and see what i can see and see if there's a good spot to place the camera okay so the camera's here on this tree and the reason i've chosen this spot is because i do see a little path i'll just take you down here and you can see on the ground i can see a little path coming through here so something comes along here and there is a field field out here and I think possibly we might get some deer coming into the woodland from that field and possibly some badgers maybe and foxes but something comes along this little path uh, regular something comes along here regular uh, and I'll give you a little bit of a look down there that's into the ancient wood Dean wood as it's called just looking around making sure no one's there I'm so worried about losing the camera. I shouldn't be really, as I said in my last vlog, it does come with the territory. If you're going to leave these cameras out, someone might pinch one one day. They're only about uh, 65 quid, so it's not the end of the world if it goes, but you just don't want it to happen, do you? So we're leaving the camera behind. <laughs> really worried about it. Bye-bye. Maybe last time I see it. And we are going to come back and pick up the camera in, well, a few days for me. But for you, two seconds. So two days have passed since I dropped the camera. And it's somewhere over in this direction. I hope I can remember where I put it. I did actually drop a little pin on the, uh, on the maps, on Google Maps. So I will definitely be able to find it, but I think I know exactly where it is. Hopefully it will still be there. That's one of the uh, problems with this sort of thing. You always worry that it might not be there. And something I forgot to do was enable the password protection on it because it does have a feature, this camera, password protect, which means if somebody did find the camera, they wouldn't actually be able to use it. It would just be, as I said, a paperweight. So that's sort of like comforting to know that uh, they wouldn't even be able to use the camera unless they knew the password. But I didn't actually enable it. So if it's not there, they've got a pretty decent camera. Maybe I should put something on the uh, SD card so that uh, if someone does take it, I can uh, plead with them and let them know where they can drop it off. <laughs> so what I'm doing with this wildlife camera is I'm trying to teach myself a new skill, which is tracking wild animals. Obviously, wild animals like badgers, foxes and deer, some of the bigger ones. And uh, I'm hoping that in future vlogs, I can actually get some really decent footage of them for you guys. But this is a new skill for me. So it's a new little project that I'm just uh, messing about with right now. So I'm only putting the camera out really locally and only for a couple of days. So I could do with some advice on tracking wild animals such as badgers, foxes and deer, uh, because I don't really know what I'm doing. I've just been looking for little trails and uh, 
obvious stuff really but I think I need to get a little bit more advanced to get the results that I want from this trail camera. Let's hope it's still there. One day maybe I will have captured Bigfoot. <laughs> and maybe in this one, maybe it's on there, you never know. Let's get over to the camera now, we're very close. Here's something that I didn't spot last time. There's a tree swing, it looks like it's well used. And there's some, uh, unfortunately, there's uh, a lot of litter down there, which suggests that people have been here. And the camera is only over there. So will it still be there? Fingers crossed. Here goes. I'm gonna walk you right over to it. If it's there, here we go. I'm so happy that it's still here. Wow, I didn't think it'd still be here. It's still here and it's in exactly the same position, so that's good. And honestly, the tree swing is just, you can't see it, not on the GoPro lens, but just at the, at the other side of this, uh, this drop, it's just over there, literally just out and round. So I'm so happy that the, uh, So I'm so happy that the camera is still here. So there it is on the computer screen, you can see it now. And of course I got a badger, brilliant. But first of all, I did get a cat. But uh, when I saw the cat first, I thought, oh blimey, great. All this way for a cat, but I got a badger. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got a badger. That's the uh, first bit of real wildlife that I have got. A badger, brilliant. So I'm not even putting any bait out or anything like that. I just uh, picked that spot because I could see some holes around and uh, I thought there might be some badgers there. And I was right. So maybe I'm not too bad at tracking these animals, but I do need some advice from you guys about how to track these animals better uh, and how to bait them. I think I should put a little bit of bait down by the camera so that they have to hang around there and get some better footage but I don't really know what to put down uh, for badgers or foxes or for uh, deer. So I don't want to be poisoning these animals. I have heard that uh, cat food is pretty good, but uh, then wouldn't have all the cats there. I got a cat in without any cat food, so I'm not too sure about the cat food. Maybe fruit is fruit. Anyway, give me some uh, advice in the comment section below on how to uh, put a bit of bait down for these animals and uh, maybe some better locations, what to look out for. So it was just a quick vlog, putting down the camera and uh, picking it up, looking at the footage. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for getting me to 1000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Old guy wandering around, banging on about all sorts of stuff. I'm so glad that you're enjoying these vlogs. I'm really enjoying my vlogging experience, still enjoying it and uh, fantastic to get to uh, a thousand subscribers. So uh, I upload a vlog every month. So if you've enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and uh, until the next one, bye.